So here we are, outside the rehearsal studio. I think it's about that time. That's the home of Martin Tereffi, who produced Katie Tunstall's album, James Morrison's record. And it just kind of it was a cool setup. I mean, it's a really large um, console room. It's cool because it's a different kind of way of doing the, the record this way because have got different musicians coming in, all top of their game. They're doing band practice here to go straight on tour, and what they're trying to say is that because they feel I've done such a good job, they just want to come on the road for free. Which is, uh, which is... <laughs> I love you, Rex. Oh, come on, man. We had like all the different musicians lined up performing in the same room, you felt there was this, this real chemistry. Certain studios you walk into, you can feel they're quite clinical. As you can see, everyone's like doing something. Like, this is your, just kind of, just, just getting the mix, the sound right. As you can see. Glenn, have you introduced yourself? No, I think it's your time. I'm a piano player. Martin, he's got his headphones on. Funny you could actually hear me. Martin drum, plays drums, puts the beats together, which is wicked. But it really felt like a proper band rehearsing and then performing live and then capturing the takes. We probably like did two or three takes of recorded takes of that, which we then would choose the best one and that was it. Model imperfections made your whole back. Moving the guys when they be saying you ain't all that. Now they be wishing they could get a piece of that. Looking hot for everyone to see. Turn on anything you screwed and trying to be rude, dude. Just straight finger licking like soul food. So natural, don't ink at a front. The Kano uh, collaboration was wicked. I mean, he's a great talent anyway. And to be honest, I was introduced to him through Fraser T. Smith, who's one of the producers on the album. And then finally we got in the studio and when we did the chemistry was just incredible. You could have seen was me in a club with she looking like my wife to be, but finally I've grown up since then. And your eyes over up since then. I love Chin, so let's keep it moving. Hey, this is the girl that I want. Check this is the girl. Cuba was a great experience. I mean, if you haven't been to Cuba, I I definitely recommend it. When you go to a club there, you really understand what a club is about. A club is there because you're going to dance, you've gone there to enjoy yourself. We were with Cuban musicians for the, the horn section that we had. Uh, one of the original members of the Buena Vista Social Club was playing percussion um, and his son. And there was another young player, a piano player, who, was, who played incredible. It was, like, it was almost he could, he could play with his eyes shut. And it was just the things he was doing and the speed that he was doing. It was just like, is this guy for real? All in all, the musicians were incredible out there. I really now understand firsthand when people hype up the, the musicians in Cuba, they're very, very talented. for the video, um, working with this 
a director called Justin Francis. It was made a performance video, very clean, very punchy, and just trying to kind of emphasize that this, this is movement and dance. It's about keeping it moving. And I think it really went, went well. Uh, so here's you in the video for hot stuff. They just did the see just b-boy behind me. See that's that's we got old school in this. Ain't no time for talking, girl. Let's keep this whole thing moving. Go what I'm saying. I've been here with be a straight up misbehaving. Girl, you're making me hard. What a feeling, especially when you spin around my back on my and I ain't even playing. Baby, don't you run away too far. Oh, that, that, that's a beautiful face, but when you see the dancing, it's a whole nother thing in itself. Come on. Dante, 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 Dante. Dante, Dante. So we went out to New York uh, to master and mix the record. We're working with a guy called Tony Maserati, who I was a big fan of because he's mixed some of the most incredible records from all the puffy stuff in the 90s, which was like Notorious B.I.G. to 112 to Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige. And that's glasses, aren't they? Watch him with glasses, leave glasses around, never see him again. So we came back to London and we then start to think about the album, shoot, the, the album front cover, the single covers, the booklet. So the whole shoot, and we were thinking of who we could work with. And I'd always been really big about working with Rankin. We got some great shots. It was a great shoot because, to be honest, usually there's like a couple that you'll get out of the whole shoot. There was loads of stuff. Thanks for traveling with me on my whole journey through London to Cuba. See you on the road. Out of here. Peace.